vehicle that we've got that came in the shop today is a 2012 Ram 3500. What we're going to be doing is installing or basically replacing the integrated brake control module located on the left side of the dash directly below the headlamp switch. This one actually had an internal failure. This is the replacement part here. I'm going to show you step by step how to gain access to it, how to remove it, and how to reinstall the other one. Start with is you need to get this knee bolster out of the way, and it's held in place by two Phillips screws directly underneath. Then we're going to work on getting this panel off right here on the side. Now it's just a matter of pulling it off. Let it hang. Yeah, trusty trim stick. And pop that off. Because what you're going to find is one of the fastening screws for the integrated brake controller is located right here. And the other one's going to be on the other side as well. So once we get those off, it'll be a matter of just unplugging it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use a T20 Torx driver. We'll go ahead and get this fast around the way right here. And fastener, like I was saying, is actually the fastener right here. That's where it goes into. Now, on the face of the one still on the dash, there's going to be a screw over here, a Torx that's somewhere around the bezel that comes off with it. Get to the other one that goes around with the bezel as well. It's located right here. Same thing, it's a T20 as well, Torx. We should be able to get some movement out of it now. There we go. She's actually moving. Go ahead and get your trim stick. Start going around, start loosening it up. more torch bit that overlook and I apologize. Um, it's located right here on the side. We're gonna go ahead and get that out. Once again it's that T20. Now the trim stick we'll go ahead and start working it out again. Here we go. Now I've already reached up under and got the two connectors loose. That's the two right there they just squeeze in and you pull out. So now it should just pull directly out. So there we go. Uh, now all we got to do is we got to take the Phillips off here and here and work the cover off and install the cover around the replacement module. Um, like I said, the one right here actually goes through here. The one further back, which was the initial one I showed you, is there. And we got the one on the front cover here. And once you swap them over, you're just going to slide it in and snap it in place. It's got two little snaps right here. Actually hold on to the dash, connector, three torques, and then you just a matter of reinstalling the side panel as well as the knee bolster here. With that, I appreciate you watching my videos. Always stay tuned for more, and don't forget to subscribe.